Today I'm showing you guys how to get this dope text flicker effect inside of After Effects using Shake Sauce 2 and the free effects inside of After Effects. But before we go ahead and get started in that, my name is Chris Bustead and I'm a full-time content creator and I run the Takeover Shop where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started inside of After Effects right now. Okay, so we have our footage via Ron Doug. He's actually a goaded content creator. So if you guys want to go ahead, check out his content. His name's on screen right now. So go check him out. He's fire. So in spirit of saucy September, I want to show you guys some real sauce inside of After Effects. Now let's go ahead and just get started with our text effects by going up here and then just typing out your text. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in text right here and then I'm just going to move it to like about center screen, um, just like so. I'm going to go over here, hit this tool, and then I'm going to hold command alt and then like home. It'll censor the anchor point. I don't know why it doesn't come censored, but After Effects is kind of an L for that, um, but it's okay. So the first way to go about doing a uh, flicker effect is you can just literally type in flicker and there are flickers available to you, like the flicker loop. This one's just a simple flicker, but it does change the opacity, which is kind of odd. So that's not really sometimes the flicker that you're really looking for. Sometime they do have the flicker exposure and this one's actually a lot better in my opinion. It's almost there, but it's not quite what I was looking for, for the flicker effect, but like I think it's a dope effect you can get away with it just like so and that's literally it for the free ways to go ahead and do the flicker effect inside of after effects really really quickly so let's go ahead and get saucy with shake sauce 2 which by the way link down below if you want to try it for free for your first seven days with the plugin let's go ahead and get started so we want to go ahead and just affect this text only so let's go ahead just right click pre-compose and then hit this second option right here make sure that's checked hit okay and then this is going to pre-compose our text so that way we could actually affect our text only because we don't want to affect the background if we apply the effects here it would affect the background and the text we don't want that we want it to be only the text so the way you actually add flicker is you just go over here to custom you have to make your own preset which is pretty fire or you could go down in the description i do have a free sort of shake sauce to preset pack that i made so it also includes the flicker so Go check that out if you want you can get shake sauce 2 for free today you can also get these presets for 100 free as well so you go over here to custom and let's build our flicker so you want to go ahead and hit the plus button because you want to go ahead and get started making a new effect use this dial over here and then as you can see like if you go ahead and just mess with the flicker and you hit play like nothing's happening and that's because it doesn't come selected automatically so you have to go ahead and make sure that this is glowing which by the way this whole ui looks actually so clean and as you can see it's actually working now so let's go ahead and play it through and see how we're liking it okay so for me i'm liking the amplitude and all that maybe the frequency is just a little too slow because i kind of want like a dramatic like flicker like yo get your attention to a flicker so you can play with the brightness you can make it like mad super bright like just super bright you could also play with the amplitude and i'm assuming the amplitude is just really like how dark it gets and how light it gets so as you can see it gets really really bright and actually i kind of like that effect how it kind of like disappears a little bit so that's actually pretty clean so let's go ahead and just watch it as is without any like extra sauce just as is so that's like looking all right you know what i mean it's definitely flickering and it's definitely got like that sauce to it but let's actually go ahead and make it a little bit more saucy now what you want to go ahead and do is duplicate your text you just use the command d that'll duplicate it for me i'm just gonna go ahead and use my takeover preset pack again that's down below that is my actual pack for after effects i have a premiere pro i have a premiere pro version as well i just decided i'd port like import it into after effects so all my after effects homies could uh you know cop i guess and make the workflow fire so let's go ahead and see what it looks like now there we go so now we have like a dope little glow we can see this little glow on the video as well just looks really like to me that just makes the effect so fire and if you wanted to create this effect yourself literally you could just copy these settings right here that's all i did to it just kept it mad simple mad easy so feel free to copy it i'm not gatekeeping any of my stuff like i just did all the work for you if you want to create the preset yourself go ahead like i genuinely like think you should if you're a brand new beginner and like you don't have the means to buy it dude do it for free dog back to the thing um let's go ahead and this looks really good honestly i'd say you could leave it but i want to actually add some uh some shake to the overall video over here like i want to add like some like cool like handheld shake look because it looks like it's kind of on a oh i forgot you can save presets right so you have not saved your custom preset and all unsaved progress will be lost you want to hit no if that ever pops up if you want to save the preset right here this is such a fire function create preset and you just like literally name it just like so like name it whatever you know what i mean and then hit save and it'll actually appear in your presets so i'm gonna go ahead and just lose progress and like that's how i created my own presets so use this video create the preset save it so that way you have it forever or just again go ahead cop my free presets 
for shake sauce too so i want to add like a handheld sort of shake so let's go ahead and just i'm just going to cut these both of these right here so i'm going to go ahead and cut that i'm also going to go ahead and cut this so Control shift d to cut um and then i'm going to not select any of this actually i'm going to select i'm going to select the top right here just so that way it fits inside this little section i'm gonna go to smooth actually let's do shaky hands just so you guys can kind of see what's going on or do we do a handheld shaky hands or handheld let's do handheld Let's keep it chill. So I'm going to select this top layer right here just so we could fit it right in here. If you want to do the entire sort of workspace, you just go ahead, you find your preset. I'm going to go handheld, keep it simple. Uh, I just want it to be clipped to like just this size again, like I said. So just go ahead, hit the check mark, and it is going to load into your timeline just like so. And it's so dope because like it crops it to your actual video, like layer like this rather than just doing the entire thing, which if you want to do the entire thing, that's super easy as well, which I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But you just do the same exact thing, make sure nothing's selected, and then it's going to go ahead and do the entire thing, which is dope if you want to do it to the entire video. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to just this, hit check mark, and then we're going to go ahead and play it through so you guys can see how it's looking. So as you can see, it literally looks so freaking clean. Like it adds just like some fun energy to the edit. As you can see, you can get very creative with this plugin. You can create your own presets, your shake presets, your flicker presets. You can literally create like just whatever presets you want. You can get really, really like dialed in with the Shake Sauce plugin. And I highly recommend it for anyone who's editing inside of After Effects and they feel like their editing would improve with some flicker or some shakes. Go ahead, cop Shake Sauce too, because that's literally what it does best. Again, link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And again, it is Saucy September, so I'm going to be uploading again tomorrow. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.